Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Today, I just want to talk really quickly about bags, photo bags, gear bags. I did a video a long time ago where I basically threw like a dozen bags into frame. I have bought so many bags over my life. Anyone that does this kind of thing, you've probably done the same. You've bought a ton of bags, trying to find the one that works for you. I have watched so many videos from so many creators that tout that the bag that they're talking about is the greatest bag ever. And I have fallen into that trap of buying some of them and finding out that they really weren't that great. They were cumbersome, inconvenient, uncomfortable even. Basically, I know you gotta try a lot of stuff. Now, what I've done is I've gotten it down to just a few that I use. Now I carry, like there's a local place that, that makes bags. So I carry a really small itty bitty bag that I can throw quick stuff into, not a lot of gear though. And then I got a bigger one that I can put more into, but that's more for carrying things like, you know, a small flashlight, a pen. I've got my phone holder. I've got a blower, you know, little things like that. It's basically about the size of, well, I shouldn't say the size of a purse because we all know how big purses can get, but it's not that big. It's not that small. It's starting to get into where I carry too much stuff though. So I have to watch what I'm doing and decide, do I really need to carry all this crap around with me? Because I'm going to be shooting this wedding. I'm freaking out and thinking about, okay, I'm going to have to take the center rig. I'm going to have to take the run and gun A6600. And I'm probably even going to have to take the ZV-1 because I'm sure I'm still going to have it. I, I just don't see this thing selling. So I'll just have it and I'll use it, which is why I've got it in the, in the um, three cam setup here. The other thing is that I have not that many lenses anymore. Now I used to carry gigantic bags with me and I had every lens in it, every, every body, every possible thing that I could use, plus at least a big tablet and or a laptop. And that was stupid because there was no way that I needed to carry all that shit around with me. At this point now though, because of the, the wedding that I'm shooting, I know that I gotta bring a bunch of stuff because I honestly don't know what I'm, what I'm getting myself into. We're not shooting stills, they just need video. Now I know he's got gear because I sold him my a7 III and I know he's got another camera at least. So I know he's got that plus the lenses and everything. I feel like it's up to me to bring everything that we could possibly need. So I'm going to have to start charging batteries up, make sure I have this brick, that brick, any, every charger that I could possibly need. So I needed to dig into my, my Boxo bags and I had decided that I'm going to be using this Lowepro Fast Pack BP250 AW2. Where do these manufacturers come up with all these damn names? I had a different Low Pro bag. It used to be one that Peter McKinnon used and, and touted and all that stuff. And, and I, that's one of the ones that I didn't really like that much. But this one, I kind of dig. It, it's not too big, it's not too small. It's got plenty of compartments and you know it's waterproof, this, that, and the other thing. More importantly, it was comfortable to carry around. So I'm gonna be carrying all that stuff with me. There's no way that I'm setting this bag down with a bunch of strangers and expecting nobody to look at it, touch shit, steal shit. I mean, I don't know. So it's gonna be on my back, so it's gotta be comfortable. Uh, I was watching some other stuff and reading about this, that, and the other thing, and it seems that the Low Pro Passport Sling 3 is really popular amongst the kids. So I went to the site last night. It's 80 bucks. It's been on sale for, I think, 70 bucks. But Low Pro had it for 36 and some change. Well, that's a no brainer. I mean, even if I don't like it, I'm only spending 36 bucks. <laughs> nah. I kind of dig that sling type style bag. And because I have to think about my angry spine, I have to get a certain type of bag and it has to be very convenient and very comfortable, so on and so forth. Bottom line, I ordered a Passport Sling 3 sling bag that seems to be pretty popular. And that is what I plan on using because I know that once the weather gets a little bit nicer, there's no freaking way I'm sitting inside here. And I want to be able to bring not all my gear with me, but more than enough gear with me. And I don't want to take this big ass bag and I don't want to shove it into a purse because it's not made for photo gear. I'm going to try that out. What do you guys use? What kind of photo bags do you use? Do you use a photo bag? Do you use 
a big cotton carrier where you strap everything off under yourself and it's hanging and hither and yon and all that kind of stuff. I do a lot of hiking. That's why I thought the sling bag would be perfect for me so that I can carry the run and gun ZV-1 and a couple of different lenses, especially because I'm using mostly primes. I love to go to the state park and get lost because I just apparently can't read the maps and all that kind of stuff. And I end up wandering back there for several hours. But once it gets nice, I plan on getting lost back there a lot. I miss being able to go back there and I'm not going to do it when it's shitty, cold, rainy, snowy, whatever. The other thing that I like to do is I have a membership to the botanical gardens and I do like to take a good bit of gear with me there because there's so many different things that I want to take pictures of. And you know, you kind of have to have sort of a film setup and a still setup. So I'll worry about that when I get to it. This run and gun a6600 is sort of the perfect camera for that because I can shoot stills on it but I can also do video on it if I need to. And most of the times I'm always walking around with this Road Wireless Go stuff on me. I don't know how long the batteries last on these. Lifetime span, not like how long I'm shooting. I can usually get a day out of these. And it, you know, I have plenty of power bricks and so on and so forth that I can stick in there for a quick charge. But I'm just wondering, you know, do they last a year, two years, and then the battery life just sucks and you can't really charge it anymore? So I'm gonna have to look into that. Really, that's all I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to talk about bags, slings, whatever and I kind of want to know what you guys use. I've come to find that a sling style bag that I can put across my shoulder and then have my camera hanging off the other side to sort of even things out works best for my angry spine. So that's what I'm going to do. Once I get that Passport Sling 3, I will load it up and start carrying it around and testing it out and I'll, I'll drop a quick review on it and let everybody know if it's just a piece of shit or not. That's all I've got for you today. Really quick, just wanted to talk about bags a little bit. So as always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.